So where do we go next with all this? Well, let's zip out of here. That's awfully nice. We're gonna go ahead and take our container visuals and make that the container we're gonna look at. We can make it a little bit bigger if we want to. Although not too big. It's gonna take up a little bit of room. That's all right. We don't mind. And in here, we know that we need two essential things, right? Like if we remember back from this other thing that I showed you earlier, we've got this set of containers here at the top, right, of buttons and doodads that we can push. And then we've also got this transport bar here at the bottom. Okay, so you guessed it, we need a container for the top. And we might call this container real time. We're gonna need another container copy paste at the bottom and I'm going to call this deck CTRL or deck control that's great now I need to make a few changes here size wise in my container real time I'm going to make that 852 wide and 670 tall for my control deck I'm going to make it 852 wide, and I only need this to be 50 tall. Now, uh, we also need to set our align order. This align can stay at zero. We're going to swap this one down to one. We're going to scoot out before we get too far away, and we're going to make sure this aligns top to bottom to get started. We'll dive back in here, and we're going to actually start by setting up some of our buttons first. Now we're not gonna make all the things that go in here just yet, we're just gonna get us started. So we'll head here into our uh, control deck and we'll add a few things. We're gonna need two buttons, a button, a button, and a slider. And we're just gonna add these to get started and then we'll start to make some changes. Now we're going to zoom out one level. Here in our deck, we're going to go ahead and make sure that's aligned left to right. Let's come back inside and set all of our align orders. Button 1 is going to be 0. Our slider is going to be 1, and our button 2 is going to be 2. There we can start to see that we're getting a little bit of a layout that we want. That's nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and change these things a little bit. So I'm going to leave this as 50 and 50 for our dimensions on our button. On our slider though, I want to make that a little bit bigger. I want that to be uh, 50 tall, so it matches our buttons. And then I want this to be 752 wide. Great, so now we've got a nice big juicy slider that runs the whole uh, width of this particular panel. Now, you can make any choices that you wanted here in terms of what that looked like. This was just the choice that I wanted to make. We're going to head here inside of our first button, and we'll call this deck A, right? Because we'll want a button to move us into deck A. We'll back out. We'll do the same thing for our other button. In this case, we'll call it deck B. And for right now, we're just going to leave this alone. Like, you know, there's a bunch of control stuff that we're going to have to sort out, and that's okay. We're going to come back to this in a hot minute. But for right now, we kind of have some placeholders here. So we're kind of just sorting out what our whole UI is going to 